Today we'll be covering an Indian startup who started the journey from a college dorm room and now is worth about 400 million dollars or almost 2800 crores. So wait till the end and we shall discuss the startup bit by bit. Hi, it's Suraj and welcome to the Startup Talk Show. Here we discuss and research Indian startups from different domains. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also follow our Instagram page where you will find daily startup news in 60 words. All the links in the description and let's get started. World is moving towards this new era of automobile industry called electric vehicles. And India is also marching towards the same by having higher goals and making bold statements. But no one wants to buy an electric vehicle right now. And the reason I hear a lot of times is, dude, we don't have a better EV yet. Something like Tesla. We are waiting for an Indian Tesla to be launched. Well, India already has this company called Ather Energy who is marking the small steps and making the dream come true. It is India's Tesla and certainly much more than that. So without further delay, let's jump to the introduction. Ether Energy is India's first company to introduce intelligent electric scooters along with the first public charging infrastructure. It was founded on October 21st in 2013. Founded by Tarun Mehta, Swapnil Jain and Arun Vinayak, it has 500 to 1000 employees and is based out of Bangalore, Karnataka. It has received a total funding of $113 million or roughly about 800 crores as a Series C funding. The startup is 7 years old and is registered under Ether Energy Private Limited in Bangalore, Karnataka. It has 3 directors, Swapnil Jain, Tarun Mehta and Rajat Bhargava. Now let's jump to the market. No doubt India is one of the biggest market for two-wheelers. India currently sells about 20 million or 2 crore two-wheelers per year, out of which 6 million or 60 lakh are scooters. Scooter sales alone are more than two times the entire car sales, and that shows the strength of the two-wheeler market. Now talking about electric vehicles, in 2025, India will be $7 billion market, or in rupees, it should be a 50,000 crore market. Now looking at the past data, in 2018-19, total EV sales in India stood at 1.3 lakh units. The EV sales in India, excluding e-rickshaws, grew by 20% at 1.56 lakh units in 2019-20. Out of the total sales in fiscal year 20, which is 1.56 lakhs, 1.52 lakh units were two-wheelers, 3,400 were cars, and 600 were buses. The SMEV, which is Society of Manufacturers of Electric Vehicles, said the growth of EV sales in India was driven by electric two-wheeler segment. The electric two-wheelers sold in fiscal year 1920, 97% were electric scooters and very small volume of motorcycles and electric cycles filled with the rest of 3%. Low-speed scooters that go at a max speed of 25 km per hour and do not need registration with the transport authorities constitute of a whopping 90% of all electric two-wheelers sold. So that's about the EV market in India. Now let's jump to the founders. There are three founders and starting with Tarun Mehta who did his dual degree in engineering design from IIT Madras. He after that did his internship in Mercedes-Benz followed by internship in Bale and secured a deputy manager position at Ashok Leyland. After which he co-founded Ether Energy and works as CEO. Next is Swapnil Jain who did his B.Tech and M.Tech in engineering design from IIT Madras followed by internship in Bale. He after that joined General Motors as engineering trainee and after that co-founded Ether Energy and works as chief technology officer. Next is Arun Vinayak who did his B.Tech in engineering design from IIT Madras followed by management trainee at ITC Limited. Arun then joined Tarun and Swapnil to fulfill this dream of Ether Energy and currently works as Chief Product Officer. Now let's find out the journey of these three brilliant people. In 2013, Tarun and team managed to create a prototype of their first electric scooter. It looked like a cycle but was a full electric scooter. 
In 2014, they worked on the software part and added a display which is one of the best features of their product. In 2015 and 16, they converted their prototype into an actual electric scooter. In 2017, they worked on the aesthetics of the scooter and in 2018, the scooter was made public and was ready for launch. So this was the short explanation of the 6 years of development which of course doesn't cover many things but much more has gone into the development. Now let's jump to the next section and find out who all we have with the team. Ether certainly has best minds in their team. Let's start with Ravnit Fokela, who is Chief Business Officer at Ether Energy. Ravnit was VP and Practice Head of Flipkart's Strategic Brands Group for about 7 months. He has also worked as Chief Marketing Officer and Head of E-Commerce at Payback India for more than 2.5 years, before which he was with Nokia for more than 9 years in various roles. At second position, we have Tirupati Srinivasan, who is Strategic Advisor at Ether Energy. Srinivasan is the man with over 25 years of experience in product organizations and has some product launches under his belt. His knowledge of new product development is tremendous and is someone who played a key role in establishing the greenfield manufacturing operations in Bangalore. At the third position, we have Deepak who is Chief Financial Officer of Ether Energy. Jane co leads Bain India's industrial goods and services practice and focuses on automotive, chemical and cement industries. He is also a member of Ben India's strategic and performance improvement team. Next we have Sunita Lal who heads HR at Ether Energy. Sunita comes with over 25 years of experience in core HR functions spanning diverse industries and has worked with companies like Matrimony.com, Emphasis Limited and AIG. Next we have Pawan Singhal who is Chief Legal Officer at Ether Energy. In past, he was VP of Legal at AstraZeneca India and Director of Legal and Regulatory Affairs at Max Bupa Health Insurance. So these are the brains behind the Aether's success. Now let's jump towards the product. I still remember when Aether launched their scooters and did a live event. It was an amazing experience and almost felt like Apple releasing their new iPhone. Aether has built these three gorgeous beasts in past seven years of its inception. Aether 340, 450 and Aether 450X. 450X been their flagship product, it all started with 340 and 450. Aether 340 was the entry level product in the company's portfolio and offered a maximum riding range of 60 km per charge. In Aether Energy's current offering portfolio, Aether 340 has been discontinued. The company took this decision in a wake of poor demand for the scooter. About Aether 450, it has a top speed of 80 km per hour and the battery pack is rated at 2.4 kW per hour. Aether claims a real world mileage of 75 km in economy mode and 60 km in power mode. And about 450X, it also has a top speed of 80 km per hour. The battery pack is ramped up a little bit and is rated at 2.9 kW per hour. In 450X, Aether has two variants, 450X and 450 Plus. Aether also claims a mileage of 85 km in single charge. There are many more features and updates like connected IoT experience and different plans which helps you to keep your scooter maintenance free. Aether has also set up its own charging network known as Aether Grid in Bangalore and Chennai. Aether has plans to set up around 60 charging points in Bangalore and Chennai and set up more Aether Grid in other cities as it expands. That's about the product, now let's move towards the investment. During its inception in early 2014, Aether Energy received $63,000 or 45 lakhs. The money was raised from the Department of Science and Technology IIT Madras and Srini V. Srinivasan IIT alumnus and founder of Aerospike. After that, in December 2014, the Flipkart founders Sachin Bansal and Binni Bansal invested $1 million as the seed capital. The next round was then raised in May 2015 in which Ether received $12 million from Tiger Global. The amount was raised for investments in development, testing, production and the launch of the vehicle. On 23rd February 2016, the company unveiled its smart scooter S340 at a technology conference surge in Bangalore. Right after that, Hero Motor Corp invested 205 crore rupees or 32 million dollars in the Series B round. Ether then received its next funding after almost three years in May 2019. It raised an investment of 51 million dollars or 350 crore rupees. The round was led by Sachin Bansal's investment of 32 million dollars. 
In the same round, Hiromoto Corp has converted its convertible debt of $19 million as a part of this round. In addition to this, Innovan Capital has extended its $8 million venture debt. Ether Energy then raised a fresh round of funds from Hiromoto Corp in July 2020. It was part of its Series C round. The $11.2 million will be used by the company to aggressively expand its presence and scale to 20 plus cities by end of 2021. So that was all about the money. Now let's look at the traction. Ether has always been a talk of the town due to its world-class scooters and out-of-the-box innovations. Here are some bytes if you would like to read. If you are done with the reading, let's look at the Aether Energy's competition. A lot of EV manufacturing players have popped up in India in past 3 years. Here are few of them who are real competitors. Starting with Bajaj, Bajaj unveiled its first vehicle called Chetak. The same Chetak which was a hit for almost 3 decades and got redesigned into its electric version. Chetak comes in two variants, Premium and Urban. Next is TVS. TVS introduced an electric scooter called iCube, which again is a good product with 75 km range. In next category, we have Revolt and Torque, which essentially are a motorbike but are pretty good competition to Aether. Revolt has RV400 and RV300, which can be bought with monthly plans. On the other hand, Torque claims its T6X is India's first electric performance motorcycle built on 7 years of exhaustive research and development. In the next category, we have Hero Electric and Okinawa. These are the two oldest players in two-wheeler electric segment. These were the Aether's competitors. And now let's find out what are the Aether's plan for upcoming years. Let's start with the global market and the expansion plan. Aether Energy is gearing up to expand to about 30 plus cities across the country in next five years. It also wants to take its scooters to a global market including Latin America, Southeast Asia and Europe in the same period. Expanding to the new cities means Aether will need to have its experience centers across all the cities. Unlike most auto manufacturers in India, Aether owns and operates its own experience centers. The company claims that this helps them in maintaining end-to-end -end customer experience. About the manufacturing plants, Aether will open a facility at Hosur in Karnataka, designed to produce 1 lakh units per year and scalable to half a million units. Aether is constantly upgrading its technology, be it mechanical innovations like world-class design or hardware and software innovations like battery R&D and Android in the scooter. Yes, you heard it right, Aether 450X has Android on its scooter and it works like charm. Aether is constantly trying to engage with its customers by making third-party tie-ups. Aether last year tied up with point-to-point -point scooter rental startup Bounce and leased scooters to Bounce. Aether has also tied up with lease partner Autovolt. Autovolt helps you lease a scooter on monthly basis without paying a hefty upfront cost. So that was about Aether's goals for upcoming years. Let's wrap up the session by a note. Now I'm sure you must have realized why Aether certainly is India's very own Tesla. Aether has all ingredients which are needed for a company to succeed. It has a world-class team, a 100% worthy product and amazing investors. On this note, we wrap up this session and wish all the luck to Aether for a great journey ahead. Hope you liked this session and there was some value addition. You can find out the link in the description to this presentation. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and do not forget to share the video with your startup buddies. That's it for today. Keep inventing. Bye-bye.